Hey everyone, we're back with the Need for Speed the Run Time Attack Challenge. Need for Speed the Run Time Attack Challenge. Sorry, saying that three times fast. There you go. Yeah. I, uh, so we're back. This week we're doing the Midnight Rush on the uh, Coastal Rush Challenge Series. Challenge yep. series. Drew, you're down here in San Francisco, yep. so we might as well stay uh, in yep. San Francisco and race it up here. There you go. Uh, so the Coastal Rush Challenge Series and the race we're doing is the Midnight Rush. Um, yep. Anything more than that? Uh, we're, dri they, we're driving the Austin Martin 177. How do they submit their time if they beat us? They can submit uh, their time by taking a photo of their post-race screen, so what uh, that shows their time. Submit it to us via Twitter, at Need for Speed, we, with the hashtag Need for Speed, or NFS, the hashtag NFS the run time attack. There you go. All one word. Easy. And we had yeah. a lot of entries last week. Yeah, we so, got uh, over 120. Yeah. So we're going to try to give you a, a quick, some, a, some tips as yep. we go through here too. Um, Try and talk and drive at the same right. time. So we got Coulter on the wheel here, and he's gonna he put in a pretty good time already. So let's see if we can do it again. Yeah. I'll start things off with saying that uh, this whole beginning area are a lot of weirdly deceptive tight turns. Yeah. So especially it does, this first this first hard left, you you think you've got a lot of speed going into it, um, but you really actually have to get on the brakes to uh, to make it around. Yeah. And then another thing too is is when you're going through these turns. Um, you want to maintain your speed as high as high for as long as you can. Definitely make sure you're using your NOS as you're coming around the corners. Yeah. Got shortcut sure on the right the there. Shortcut. Yeah. And then you definitely need to get on the brakes there to make the whole whole thing. Yeah. And um, then yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Coulter. I was going to say since you're driving, yeah. Coulter and I have been debating about this shortcut here, and we've come to the conclusion that it's better to take the shortcut rather than veer to the right because then you don't have to deal. Whoa, that was huge. <laughs> <laughs> you have to deal with the uh, the two that little chicane at the end there. So yeah, and definitely yeah. as you go through that shortcut, you're on the nose the That's entire right. time. Yeah. This corner coming up is deceptively tight. Yep. I we always end up in this house over here. Just, and you, and just a quick. Um, Especially with the Aston Martin um, and a few other supercars, just all it requires is is a nice little uh, a light touch on the on the handbrake to yeah. to get around those kinds of corners. You don't need to get heavy on the brakes, um, but just just get the tires loose um, cool. and, and bring yourself around it. Yeah, and then yeah, you want to talk about the freeway. Yeah, so as you guys are going through that first section there, I think it's important to note that you don't have to be in first by the time you get to the highway. The highway is big, wide open. Yep. You can maintain your max speed for a long time. Um, so you don't need to be in first, but once you get on the highway, you definitely want to make your move to first and hold it. Um, another thing about the highway is uh, there are a lot of traffic cars, but you're going to notice that there's going to be open lanes for a little while. So you got a pretty open area right here as you guys are watching this, yeah. but as you get bunched up, you'll notice that, say, in this area, the right lane's kind of yeah. like a nice little spot to just boost past yeah. everything here. But at the same time, you still want to kind of not sideswipe but get as close to the traffic cars as possible to pick up those uh those near misses and that'll build up your yeah. nos yep which is especially important because you're uh your number two guys point three seconds yeah. two seconds away you want to keep up your nos to make sure that you're not getting passed and one, yeah and one of those things especially going around corners um even if you think you're hitting the top speed anytime you put in any kind of steering in, i just lost uh, the race for myself no um, anytime you put in any kind of steering input uh during corners it, it trims a little bit of speed. So you want to just be, be extremely cautious um, or at least aware of uh, where your opponents are. Of where your opponents are and, and of your top speed coming out of corners to get back on the NAS, uh, yeah. to get back on the NAS real quick. Um, so as soon as we get this going, finish the race off right here. Oh, I'm spotting back two miles. Um, wow. That was a nice little gift of a reset. Yeah. So definitely, when you're on the highway, maintain your top speed. Yeah, that's crucial. Yeah, don't let anybody pass you. Yep. Let's see if we can finish this. Yeah. Somewhat and, strong. Yeah, and don't try to draft the traffic cars. <laughs> yeah, this is that's definitely not worth it. Yeah, you're not gonna get anything from no, that. It's just all about collecting near near misses and uh, and finding good good safe lanes to to cut through. So I think I hit 240 or 239. 239, six seven. See if you guys can beat that. Get us on Twitter, NFS The Run, Time Attack. All one word. There you go. That's the hashtag. All right. Need for speed. Good luck, guys. See you next week. See ya.